Hardcore is for, is, isn't for the weak, it's for the strong of heart, the strong of mind, people who can adapt and understand what's given to them. It's for people who have, have a, a balance in their mind and can appreciate anything. It's what, it's what you feel inside and how you relate towards things mm -hmm. on a level that, that people can always un understand. It's never too, never too far-fetched, you can always grasp what, what people have within the hardcore realm. For something to be hardcore, you have to, you know, you have to do it all by yourself. You have to, it's all DIY. You, you just have fun with it. You don't really, yeah. You, you strive to be excellent, and you strive to get your message across. It's playing a good show where you see all the kids are really into it, and they really dig what you're saying, and they, and they really feel what you're saying. It's I, I see, I see the looks in kids' eyes, and, and not just seeing people go crazy, but you know, you see the look in their eyes, and you see them screaming something that you wrote with like mad conviction it's like it's overwhelming the only thing about hardcore is like you have to feel it in your heart if you feel it in your heart then it's hardcore if you don't it's not if you're doing things in your heart and like and and you're playing from your heart and you're singing from your heart and you're still making money just like if people listen to stuff and it's stuff that you feel in your heart, I feel it's all right. Definitely being up on stage and fucking just going nuts, fucking going balls out, and seeing everyone beating the shit out of each other. It's not really the music, it's like the, just the energy and the, the scene or whatever, I guess. That's why it's always been. But, if you're uh, hardcore, you're not supposed to succeed because it's not cool, you know what I'm saying? That's what's corny about it. Fuck all these labels and shit. Fucking E Town is just E Town. You know what I'm saying? Is E Town? I like how it's all about crowd participation and stuff like that. How people just like go on stage with a band and stuff like that and like sing along. It's different from like a mainstream show where it's like you're like 50 feet from the stage, you know? You can't see, like, you can barely see the band. I mean, this is like crowd participation. That's what all hardcore is about to me. Just like, you know, have fun, sing along. from NJ Bloodline and uh, I'm taking a shit but um, that's okay um, these guys got some questions I think <laughs> Yeah. 
yeah, I got I got lumped up every time I would go mosh and stuff like that. But I mean, I felt wanted there. I you know whether I was wanted there, I knew everybody else at least was not wanted somewhere else, and that's why they were there. And that's the one place that they could actually unwind and do flips off the wall and drink beer and smoke pot and do whatever they whatever the hell they wanted to do. Or talk about not drinking beer and not smoking pot and making fun of people that did. That's what you did there. They just did you. small like that but um lately it's it's been dead we have nowhere to go and people are like falling into like hardcore music you know they uh they use the modern metal trend i see myself still still loving this music and still wanting to you know breed a message whether in a band or through a zine or through a label you know i, I uh you know i i i mean i love to see kids get into it and you know i i, I love to see people like Change the whole outlook on life just because now they like realize that they can think for themselves. Because you know, actually, some dude in the band that they would do anything for told them that they didn't have to do anything for it. That they just it was just there. To me, shit stick. Yo, look at this shit, bro. Yo, Don't take a shit. Stick it up their ass. Yo, 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 you ain't just fucking me. Yo, 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 Cooper, take that, yo. Take the shit stick. <laughs> Better with it don't smell like shit, but it, it looks like shit, man. It is definitely shit. I don't want to know what the fucking man is. You Just live, live life, live life hardcore. Whether you, you're into what's called or considered hardcore music or not, just live life that way. Don't, don't really go by what anyone else says. Don't, you know, don't, don't trust anyone, you know, with, don't trust anyone with too much money because chances are they don't want to share it with you. No, man, just seriously, we, um, there's a lot of things we stand for. We push just the hardcore lifestyle and, and, and not just dedication to punk rock hardcore music, but just to ourselves. And, and, and this band is like bigger than us. I mean, you know, I mean, I'm pretty much the only member left and it's, it's something, you know, as long as there's like, a need for you know extreme music, you know, or, or, or groovy that shit that you can go crazy to. That's conscious at the same time. You know, that there's not a lot of good music out there, and we just want to write the best possible. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much our point. Just be pure with our music. It's just you know, not to every extreme, but you know, in a certain way to like our own extremes and, and to the extremes of what people are willing to, to listen to. Most guys play in a band for girls. Where are they?
hardcore is underground. You know, like that's kind of how it's always been. That's why it's hardcore. It's To music and you want that that hardness you want the heaviness you want that that like that that chaoticness you know that 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 not, not feces within the music and you use that because to me hardcore is a release and to most people if they don't dance to hardcore they they usually adapt to it in a different way Everyone releasing their stress, their anxiety, all the feelings they feel through, through the music that that you give them, through the, like through your ideas and your ideals, everything. You know, and like you're able to you're able to smell the conviction within each of the people you see around you while they're fucking right in front of your face, and you have this microphone right in their face, and you're giving them a chance to say what they have to say too, because they can relate to what you have to say. Another creative outlet for me to, for me to like be, be myself through, through the acts, you know what I'm saying? Through, through using the weapon I, I'm, I'm, I'm given, wielding music that people haven't really heard, you know, stuff that, that's newer out there that people I'm sure would enjoy.
saying like hardcore is like it's the coolest shows because like there's no bouncers and stuff. You can always go up on stage. It's all about like crowd participation in hardcore, you know. Yeah, that's a hardcore scene like right when strength, almost when strength is gonna break up. Mm -hmm. Back then it was like you know people would like talk to you and you know, like, so you, you're like in the show you're gonna hit, you get hit, people pick you up. It's like you go, oh, sorry man. My thing is right when strength broke up. It's just start, things just started going different. Nowadays, people are out to kill each other. You go to a show, people are just like, whoop, like swinging for you. You're like, oh, you know? I mean, it's different. It's all about like, like tough guy stuff now. Man, it's. Is like exactly like if you go to North Carolina, it would be like what Jersey was three like three years ago. Straight edge, vegan, just straight, like, hardcore, hardcore. That's go to North Carolina. It's exactly like Jersey was three, four years ago. All the kids were wearing the straight edge t-shirts, vegan power. Exactly like they loved us down there. Surprise. <laughs> like they, they, I mean, they didn't know who we were at all, but they, uh, they really liked us a lot. They were surprised that people were going nuts. I was happy. The first show One For One ever played was at Studio One. Who'd you play? Uh, to be honest, we weren't even called One For One at the time. Uh, I just got I got kicked out of a band called VOS because uh, I couldn't sing like I was in my bag, and so they kicked me out. And uh, the bass player quit because me and him like, became good friends. We started One For One with uh, two other assholes. And, uh, to be honest, like at that show, I think we were called like we had like four names. Like while we were playing, like like uh, I think we were we were called like Flag Tail or something, which whatever the hell that is, I don't even know. But we didn't actually become one for one until uh, well, the first show we played, we played at Studio One. It was us, uh, VOD, the Retards, uh, Bulldoze couple other bands. When I was younger, like, I loved going to a show, uh, you know, back then I used to go see bands like the Gorilla Biscuits and Burn and the Crow Mags and it was just about, like, back then it was about just, like, going to a show, everybody was, like, unified and, um, was, you know, never any problems. Uh, nowadays you see a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of hatred out there, a lot of, you know, fights start and you know, kids just want to be tough and, I don't know, to me that's not really what it's all about, it's just, you know, it's just an expression of yourself. What's going on one for one right now? Just making new shirts. Getting ready for a show? Guys. Individuality is probably the best thing. It, like, it's probably the best thing in the world. You know what I mean? Like, without it, there'd be a bunch of clones walking around, which there is. But you know what I mean? Like, there's people like us, and there's just I don't know. There's a lot of people who who want to, who have a lot to say, and like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Like, I, I don't want like some kid listening to us and going around and being a one for one cover band. You know what I mean? I want like what he's learned from like our music to like basically blow up in his mind and and uh, 
him to take another part of it, you know what I mean? I don't want him. Everybody's calling it hardcore, which I really don't think it is. Like, I consider one for one more of a metal band than a hardcore band, but with hardcore influence. You know, like, it just changed with time, because one for one has changed so many members. Like, I know a lot of people talk shit and say it like that. One for one used to be like, you know, they change their style, sell out, and whatever. But, you know, when you change members, there's different people that play different styles and just. Uh, I know Dan forever, and then, uh, I suppose playing him, like, little times, just, like, filling and stuff, but I was, like, in school and stuff, and then, uh, I guess when I graduated, I guess as I got soon me. As soon as you graduated. Yeah, as soon as I graduated. Pulled me over from the car, I remember. <laughs> asked me to play. Well, I was supposed to fill in first, go to Canada, and then I started playing. Find a lot of places aren't even doing shows anymore, and it's 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 really sad that the scene will kind of crumble. Doing you know because of that, you gotta kind of play out of state, or you know you gotta put on your own show. So that's real good. So like, uh, like bands that get signed and stuff get real big with being real hard music and stuff. I don't want to be just that that jerk jerk stuff. Like that, but a lot of mellow stuff. Kids in the 
kids <laughs> kids that hated fucking growing up and doing homework and shit like that need an underground, you know what I mean? They need a release. You need hardcore music is a release. It's not like it's not just the music that you get into and you're like, I like hardcore music. It's like there's a whole lifestyle behind it. You just keep learning. It's information that's being put into your head. That's what it is, like. Down concrete, man. Forever. Fucking. <laughs> the next fucking. It's out. This is for the one who has put me out of work, shutting me down for birth. Think you want to work? I fucking put that thing in first. Always try to grow my mind, never less I try to find. I come, I come, you never had the time. E Town's fucking doing great. <laughs> we ain't part of the hardcore scene. No, we're fucking now. Just kidding. The, the whole thing with the hardcore scene, I guess. You know what I'm saying? That shit is too clicky. You know what I mean? We got all these corny ass little, little. Everyone that hangs out in their groups and they all diss each other. And they all try to talk about unity. Fuck that shit, bro. It ain't nothing like that. I think the Jersey hardcore scene, like the style of music they play, most bands, is, is much more fucking hard, slow. East Coast, man. Compared to a, like faster punk style in New York. I'm sure there's a lot of shows going on all over Jersey and halls and shit like that, but I just don't know about it. You know what I'm saying? All the shows that I go to, or we go to, are the ones play? we have to play all the time. And it's usually every weekend. So how am I going to have time to go see another band play and be involved in a hardcore scene? It's, it's a growing up thing, too. Man. It's a growing up finding which way to go. about anything that, you know, inspires me to write. So most, most of the stuff is just my experiences, but, you know, pretty soon, you know, you can only say so much without fucking repeating yourself, you know what I mean? You gotta, anything that pisses you off, you know, so like, you watch TV and you see some, it's from everything, you know what I mean? I, I write about anything that I, I fucking feel like writing about. All the shit that, you know, we listened to growing up, you know, just blended together and this is what came out of it. Saying that's that's our whole goal is to succeed and fucking 
big as hell, play big ass shows. You know, that's the whole point. Who the fuck wants to fucking start a band and stay small forever? Shit is cool. You know, playing is the, it's the it's what you do it for, you know what I'm saying? Playing live is the main fucking perk of being in a band. That's that's the whole reason why you're in a band is to play in front of people, you know what I mean? Recording is just putting a CD out so people could come to see you live and fucking you know, know the song is better, but it's all about playing live. So that's that's the that's the funnest part of being in the band. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You fucking drive fucking ten hours, play for fucking forty minutes, <laughs> and drive home ten hours. Only a fucking idiot in the band to do that shit. That we sold out, man. And let them see all the shit we went through. Yeah, fucking through it in vans and fucking being dirty for four fucking days. Yeah. Fuck you, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, we deserve it because we put in our yeah. fucking hard yeah. time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hard fucking I want to work, man. I hate working every day, man. I want to play music. I want to just travel and play. Play, 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 play. play. I want to fucking go to work. Long as it's going to Ride it out. I just know that we're fucking, we are what we are, that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> you think we're hardcore guys, you're gonna buy the CD because you think we're hardcore guys. You think we're fucking country and you're gonna buy the CD guys. We're just in town now. Dude.